Two of the most valuable items ever recovered from the Titanic are coming up for auction tomorrow. They are a violin case belonging to the man who led the orchestra on deck as the ship sank in 1912 and a gold watch worn by one of the richest men in the world. Duncan Kennedy reports. It was supposed to be the defining standard of nautical opulence. The Titanic, totemic of a new era of human achievement. But on the night of April the 14th, 1912, the ship hit an iceberg in the North Atlantic and sank. More than 1,500 people died. Now, two of the most valuable personal items ever recovered from the disaster are coming to auction. A bag and a watch belonging to two people whose stories have become fables from that fateful night. And you're in the club. The James Cameron movie Titanic hey, Astor. depicts both men. Well, hello, Molly. John Jacob Astor, the wealthiest man on board and one of the richest in the world. And Wallace Hartley, the violin player who bravely led the orchestra to calm passengers' nerves as the vessel floundered. Each man central to the film's narrative of bravery and loss. In real life, both Hartley and Astor died that night. Their bodies and their possessions recovered in the aftermath. You've got the bag and the watch? Correct, yeah. These are the Andrew Aldridge, a world the expert on the Titanic, says Hartley probably tried to use his violin case and its straps as a flotation device, but it came to nothing. Whilst J.J. Astor's 14 karat gold pocket watch was discovered amongst his personal effects in the days after the tragedy. Why is there this continuing public obsession interest in all things to do with the Titanic? I th honestly think it's to do with the people. She transcends so many different levels. Um, we are fascinated in her because of who was on board. You, you could argue that Titanic is the most famous ship that's ever sailed, apart from the Ark. So what might they fetch at the auction? Well, the estimated price on the bag is £120,000. And for the watch, it's £150,000. And just shows the continued interest there is in all things Titanic. Wallace Hartley's violin itself was sold separately in 2013 for a million pounds. It's now on display at the Titanic Museum in Belfast. Tomorrow's auction, streamed live, will attract bidders from around the world, ready to spend as they save these unique items from a ship enshrined in maritime folklore. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News.